Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a really quick, easy and efficient workflow in Magic's Vegas Pro 15. So if you watched my last video, you'll know that I created a template where all of my music marketing sessions will go into where it has a music marketing logo that's auto located in the exact spot. And it's auto set up to go in for five seconds, have 45 seconds of empty space, and then it comes back in. And then we have our little Insta logo at the end right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this a step further and I'm going to show you guys the workflow that I use to edit quickly. So the first thing I really want to talk about is the fact that I add custom stingers to the beginning and ending of every video. So after those have been added, I grab my audio tracks and my video tracks and I put them here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how quick and easy this is. I'm going to control A to highlight everything and I'm going to hit U. This is going to ungroup everything. Now what I always do is I make sure these two are grouped and that's with G. That means that I can move these wherever I want to. And that's because I get to make a bunch of clones of this. And then I can actually put them next to each other. And then you'll also notice how a lot of these tracks are moving together. That's because I activate my auto ripple, which is control L. And that basically allows you to automatically move files that are grouped together. So for this, I know that as soon as this ending stinger ends, I want the Insta logo to come in. So since they're already placed, I'm just gonna hit G to group these and move them to the very end. And the next thing is actually highlighting all these tracks, hitting G to group them. So that way when I cut, it cuts all of them. And we'll go to the beginning and we'll see what we need to do. We have our intro stinger, it comes in. Everything looks fine. And then it comes in. So I have hey the music guys, marketing logo coming at 15 frames. So I'm gonna have a fade. And I'm gonna count that to 15. And another cool thing is right here when you're actually fading, it'll tell you right next to the fade offset how many frames you're actually in. So I want everything to be at 15. Let's see how that comes in. Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV. And in today's video, we're so since I actually edit my dialogue beforehand inside of SoundForge, I don't actually need to do a lot of crazy things. I just need to make sure that everything pauses and starts at the right section, make sure it's all synced. So we're gonna go here. Take this kiss upon the brow, and in parting from you now, thus much let me avow. That looks good. And there are lots of sections where I actually do have blank spaces because of pickups. Now, I don't move them when I'm editing the audio by itself because I don't want to get anything displaced. So I'm just going to delete this and you'll see how it automatically shuffles and ripples down. It's hum. And it's something that you actually won't really be able to get rid of as easily using just an EQ. So this is another instance where we had a long little dialogue and I ended up getting rid of it because of a pickup. Let me just go over here to make sure everything looks good. So it looks like around here I start messing with something. So I'm going to just delete up to here. And I'm going to actually fast forward this. And what you do is you hold control and you move it up or down and it fast forwards or slows it down. So I'm going to fast forward it maybe about half just in EQ. So before we get started, let's do a quick overview of everything we have. We have some sliders over here that will allow us to bring up the contrast. I'm just going to, uh, again, fast forward this because I want to keep the fact that I'm messing with the sliders intact, but I don't want to spend 30 seconds of blank space just messing with them. It will allow us to bring up the contrast. We have the zoom tool. We have the hand. It will allow us to bring up the contrast. We have the zoom tool. We have the hand tool. And we have a displace tool, which basically allows us to have a 3D image of what we're looking at. I don't think I need this. This looks good to delete. And this is blank space. So let's listen to this real quick. Range. We have a lasso selection, a polygonal lasso. Cool, so right here, this is fine. I am going to fast forward through this because I don't really want to spend a lot of blank space doing nothing. You can see range. We have a lasso selection, a polygonal lasso, a brush tool, magic wand, which is a very smart selection tool. Tool, magic wand, which is a very smart selection tool. That looks good. Get rid of this. This is another blank space. And let's just zoom out to see where we're at. So we've already cut our session pretty short. We're getting a lot closer to the ending of the, the logo section, so we might actually have to delete some of those. Time. We have a harmonics. So right there, I know that I'm talking about the harmonics selection tool, and I do go through and I use that to actually highlight stuff. So I'm going to, again, 
fast forward through this frequency at a time. We have a harmonic selection tool, which will select the frequency and its harmonics. We have an eraser tool, a dodge tool. Clone so right stamp. there, I switch tools. I am going to want to keep that just because I don't like jumping up and down. Tool, clone stamp. And this is just blank space. And a really cool thing is I can easily just zoom in in case I took too much out. Bring it out like that. Put it back in. Stamp a frequency pencil and a noise. I'm going to actually use a little bit of a fade and customize the shape. All you have to do is right click. Stamp a frequency pencil and a noise. Stamp a frequency pencil and a noise spray. Clone stamp is really cool. Cool, that sounds good. That looks good. We're about right here. And that basically will be able to clone that area and you can stamp it around. And that's the reason. And this is not really needed at all. So we'll just actually delete this. That area and you can stamp it around. And that's the reason why this is called spectral layer. So that looks good. Let's go right here. Let's see. In this example. So this is where I start talking about the example. And I know if there's going to be a couple of little areas where I'm going to edit. So we just need to get rid of like right here. And these are just little spaces that I didn't want to move around because I didn't want to get my video out of sync with the audio. And get rid of some of that noise. So we're going to actually use the time range selection tool. To so for this, I'm going to actually fast forward this. Use the time range selection tool. That looks good. What about here? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. We're going to process. Okay, so for this, this all looks really good and smooth. How about right here? This. The reason why I copied this is because I'm... So this is when I'm copying something, and I know that there's going to be a little bit of important actual visual information, but it's going to be extremely fast because I think I'm just literally copying and pasting. With Control D. The reason why I copied this is because I'm going to make another layer, paste it there, and... Okay, so I was actually wrong. We don't need that. I'll just delete it. The reason why I copied this is because I'm going to make another layer, paste it there, and actually invert the phase. So I don't really need all of this stuff dedicated to just a button click. This, start the phase. I'm going to play this for you, and you'll notice that the noise in the beginning is completely gone. Now, one thing you'll notice is that my fades come in automatically. If I zoom in, I have mine set up to auto fade, so it's automatically going to make sure everything aligns and doesn't, uh, you know, have a nice pop and crack. I'm going to play this for you, and you'll notice that the noise in the beginning is completely gone because we've inverted the phase using a layer. Take this kiss up. Now, if I mute that, take this kiss upon the brow, you can see how it's come back. Now, this is not needed. We'll just delete this. And if we zoom out again, we can see we're already right next to the end of there. We've actually cut our time in half. And I'm editing this in real time right now. So let's see. This is good. I know I've already double checked this. Let's see what over here. If we want to. This is looking like something we're not going to be needing. We'll delete this layer. The next thing that's not needed. I'll delete this layer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to process. Okay, so for this, I'm going to actually want this here. So I'm just going to fast forward the it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to process, restoration, the tolerance. So right here, we're going to want to get rid of this blank space. I'm going to set my percent, the tolerance. I'm going to set mine up. So I did a little bit too much. So I'm going to actually push this out. And since it's auto ripple, it's automatically going to move it back. The tolerance, I'm going to set mine at five. The tolerance, I'm going to set mine at five. We're going to do reduce. And then this, I know I'm going to actually just kind of want to fast forward just because some people do want to see every little detail of what I do. Five. We're going to do reduce noise. Hit OK. And there we go. Cool. So I know that these are all pretty much good. This might be blank space. So we're going to, yeah. This is blank space and much better. Over here might be some actual dialogue. And going to the process amplitude. Let's listen to it now. 12 dB. Let's listen to it now. On the brow. And. Okay, that looks good. What about here? Select it. And I am going. Okay, cool. So right here after the breath, we're not going to really need to have all this long wait. So right now here to here, we're going to just control drag. And I am going to, that looks good. Team DB. 
for the amplitude, we'll do small amount of 10 dB. Okay, so for this, I'm going to fast forward this, but I'm also going to kind of edit a little bit. I don't like the long, weird pauses. We'll do small amount. Bring this out just a tiny bit. That's we'll a little too much. Like here, we'll do small amount of 10 dB. Of 10 dB. I'm going to fade here because I don't like the way that came in. Better? Small amount of 10 dB. Now let's listen to the beginning and see how those breaths sound. That looks good. Much less okay, cool. So it looks like we're actually done. I ended up not having to use all of the Music Marketing Text logo. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fade my audio out and I do a fade of 15 frames. And I'm going to fade my video out the same amount. Next, I'm gonna actually go over here and I'm gonna drag this down to about here. And I should basically say goodbye and then it cuts out. Let me see. Bye. You can see the music marketing singers right there. And if we go to the end, we should see our Insta logo. Nice and smooth. Perfect. Perfect. Everything came out and everything works great. It's really that easy. We did this really quickly, really easily, and with minimal effort. Anyway, that's it for today's video. This has been Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.